What's up everybody, it's Onglore. Today's video, I will be showing you guys the new Blood and Sand DLC for Conan Exiles. I just picked it up today and I want to share it with you guys. So, while I am experimenting with the armors and new weapon types, I also want to show you guys too because they have added some very nice looking armor and also some of the different type of skins for weapons. So, first off, I want to show you guys the assassin's armor i think it looks really really good and it's very well done with detail now as far as the mask is concerned i felt if they would have left off the actual mask and left on the hood it would have been perfect but that's just my opinion nonetheless out of all the armors i think this is the best looking for this dlc and up next is the bear shaman i do like the legs the chest piece is a little bit busy for me and the helmet if I really wanted to intimidate my opponent I would definitely wear that headpiece because it's really showing that you mean business so I do like this armor and I probably will wear it from time to time so up next we have the heavy armor the barbaric or barbarian armor and I do like the way it looks I like the chest piece I like the legs the gloves and the helmet actually looks pretty cool to me as well. I feel like with the helmet, if for some reason my weapon was dropped or ran out of durability, I can just simply lower my head and ram into them, and it should good or it should do a pretty good amount of damage. So that covers the armors for the DLC, which overall I like. And I've been looking forward to testing this out and showing you guys the blood letter weapons because in my opinion they look pretty good we have the bow the daggers now I busted out with the sword I won't be showing you all the weapon types you know for the blood letter but I want to show you guys some of it and the shield was something else to me it gave me a gladiator feel to it which I really like because I've always liked gladiator themed type of you know things and with the way it's shaped it also looks like it can serve as a platter because with the way it's shaped inside I can put like you know dip or something in there but this is cool the two-handed great sword I love the way that sword looks I can totally see myself using it so I'm getting to the nitty-gritty here now because when I saw this in the dev stream the short sword I didn't really know what to think of it so I'm just doing a series of light attacks right now and I'll be mixing in heavy attacks and I still don't know how I feel about the sword, honestly. And I'm just doing a series of light attacks right now. So I'm gonna actually gonna have to get out and start hitting things with it because I wanna see how I can mix and match light with heavy. Like I said, I just don't really know how I feel about this weapon. And I guess I need to get used to it. Also, I am using just the iron quality right now. And I know to probably to deal a serious amount of damage I'm going to have to upgrade, you know, which I don't mind, but just for the purpose of, you know, ex uh, exploring slash experimenting, I just want to use the iron quality. So next we have the two-handed great axe, which I was really, well, I really want to use it because I've always been a fan of two-handed weapons. So I'm going to be testing out the light attacks and also mixing in the heavy attacks. I know like the heavy attack is almost a endless spin animation. So... As I said right now, I'm just showing this off, but I actually do plan doing a mini series with the Blood and Sand DLC. I've been wanting to do a series for a while, and I think this DLC is giving me that extra push that I need because I really want to see how all this stuff works. I'll be just using the base items for my gameplay. And as we can see, we're just swinging, you know, with a great axe, but before I end the video later, I do want to show off some combat and see how I actually feel using these versus NPCs. Also with the Blood and Sand, introduced the new battle standard, which I like. It's very simple. It seems to have a pretty big radius. You just place that bad boy down, and if you're on a PvE server, it simply enables a PvP area where you don't have to worry about losing your items on death. So. Honestly, that's not a bad idea to keep yourself, you know, in shape and sharp for when battle really comes. So, since it's just me here, I really can't challenge myself to a duel. But 
it does work and it'll give you a message saying you know do you want to continue and see what's up or do you want to bounce you know something along those lines so along with the battle standard there is actual arena placements as well arena placements meaning arena placeables as you can see back here now i originally had this building built because i was going to show you guys uh or you no know, do like a playthrough and along with the arena we have the war flags as you can see right here or battle flags just flying around i think they did a really good job on those flags i really like the way they look so i just have a little bit to show you of the arena placeables because I, was, because I thought they did a pretty good job on it so as we get closer here you can see the fence and the foundation now what i liked is they gave us two options when it came to the ceilings wedges and foundations as you can see here i laid them down you know one different each row tile so you can see what they were offering and i do like that idea i kind of wish they did this with the other dlcs that were out before because it would be nice to have a little mix and match so at least they allow you to do that as you can see here we have this the stairs and here are the i guess you would say like little mini flags and like i said i do like these flags a lot as you can see here here's the arena walls and windows and under me it's not uh what do you call it foundation it's actual ceiling because i'm building over water right now and i quickly just want to place down some of the ceiling options that you have there are a lot of options that you can build with when it comes to the ceilings. Unfortunately, I am not very good at building, so I'm going to experiment as much as I can and like, you know, later on when I'm actually doing a playthrough, show you guys what I can actually do. And I know a lot of you guys are really good at creating, you know, just arenas and just buildings. So I'm looking forward to seeing your guys' pictures. So I'm going to end the video here just on short sword gameplay and also the two-handed great axe. I really want to thank you guys for watching this video, and also I really do want to know how you feel about the new DLC. How do you feel about the new short-handed sword and axe? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you think about the placeables? Because I really don't know many people who play this game. I would like to hear from you guys how you feel about it. So if this is your first time stopping into the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then smash that like button. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.